Welcome to my Barlardi's Body Blitz Resistance Loop Butt Workout. For today's workout, all you will need is a resistance loop, or if you don't have one, tie a Pilates band in a knot, and we're going to be using a mat. You don't have to use the loop, it will just intensify some of the exercises. We're not going to do a warm up as such, it's a very much targeted butt workout, so if you need a warm up, then please press pause, warm yourself up, and come back when you're ready. Okay, we're going to put the loop around our thighs and that's where it's going to stay the entire time. So just make sure that it's nice and flat. If it bunches up throughout the workout, don't worry up too much about it. But I want you to put it approximately mid-thigh. So not too close to your knees and just really make sure it's sitting flat. We're starting in an L-type position where I want you to line up your back with the back of the mat. You can come down like this or you can come all the way down once we start. Now, alignment is really crucial with this exercise. So hold your tummy and make sure your hips are stacked on top of each other. You're just in a loose position like this. The closer you bring your knees in, the harder it's going to be. I want you to roll forward and press your palm into the mat so you know that you're staying forward. Now, I want you to extend your top leg. Okay, so your knees are in alignment and make sure you're not rolling back, roll forward and then just start raising. So at the moment we've got our toe pointed and you're just raising up to where you feel that outer thigh, outer glute area engaging. Hold your tummies in and you'll notice that that loop will just give that added little bit of resistance to make this tougher. Depending on which type of loop you have, you can go for the black one, which is usually the toughest, or just a really light one. And if you feel extra motivated, you can even add some ankle weights. So just down and up, keeping your leg nice and straight. Your kneecap is facing that side of the room, and you should be starting to feel that burn already. Down and up. Relax everything in your upper body. Go for five, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to flex your foot and angle your toe down. So you really, as you go down, you can see my toes touching the ground. And now come all the way down and press up with your heel. Make sure that your leg is really straight here. Down and up. Really starting to feel that. So just that angle change is hitting the glute in a slightly different way. Up and up. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Now angle it straight again and we're gonna do a bend press. So keep your leg up, there's a gap in between both your thighs, you should be able to put your fists in between there, so you always have some tension on that loop. Pressing out, you're bending and then you're straightening out your leg as much as you can. It's a tiny bend and a really strong extension, as if you're pushing away a heavy cement block. Press, press, straighten it out. Really locking out behind that knee. Keep your leg up, don't let it drop. Five, four, three, two, one. Now point that toe again and we're gonna draw little circles. Make sure you're not opening up through the chest or hip. Keep that hand pressed forward and you're just drawing tiny little circles. You should have tension on that loop the entire time. So don't come down so low with the leg that you lose that tension. Really feeling that burn. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, now I want you to keep your leg pointed, your toe pointed, and bend press with the pointed toe. Bend press. So you're reaching long with that toe. See if you're trying to 
touch the other side of the room, lengthening out, really focusing on straightening behind that knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last thing, flex your foot and we're gonna go down with the toe, down with the heel. Toe and heel. Toe and heel. Slow and control. And heel. Really feeling that. Toe and heel. Toe and heel. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Ah, bend that leg in for a second, relax it. And we're just going to do one set of diamonds while we're lying here. So we're just going to bring our toes together and lift that bottom leg. And we're just gonna go down and up. I know this burns, but we have to do a few. So your aim is to get the top knee up to the ceiling. Breathe through it and really push against that band. Up. Should be shaking here. Just pivoting from those toes. Up. Down. And up. All the way up. All the way to the ceiling. And not all the way down. So you can see I still have tension on the loop, even on the down. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's hold it for a second. Should be shaking. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow, that was a burner. Okay, we're going to switch sides. So if you want to stretch it out for a second, you can. Just do a figure four stretch. Really feeling that. Press that knee away. Oh. And then we're going to come down on the other side. Okay, so once again, get your alignment right. Your back is lining up with the back of the mat. You're down on your elbow, your chest is forward. Your knees are aligned. Press that front hand into the mat to make sure you're not rolling back and extend your foot. Point your toe and start raising. Now that supporting leg on the bottom is still going to be burning. So next time you do this workout, you might want to start on the other side. So we've got a fresh leg right now, so make the most of it. It's going to start burning soon. Up and up. Keeping that leg really straight. Locking out behind the knee, pointing that toe long, and squeezing that outer glute. This is the area you're focusing here. You're trying to chisel out that dent. So really think about squeezing this area to lift your leg. And up. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Now when you flex your foot and remember angle your toe down and then start raising. So you're raising with your heel first. If your tummy's pulled in, your hips are stacked. Up and up. Keep breathing, it's really important to get that oxygen to the muscles. Up and up. Really twisting that foot. So you're leading with that heel. You should be feeling it slightly lower in the glutes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to bend press. So keep your leg up. Remember there's a gap in between those thighs. You should be able to put your fist in there. So you always have that tension and you're pressing away with your heel. 
the emphasis is more on the press than it is on the bend. The tiny bend and then a real straightening out press. Press. Keep it up. Push it. Squeeze that glute. Really burning. But you can do it. All the way out. Keep breathing through it. Five, four, three, two, one. Now point that toe and we're going to do those circles. You should really be feeling this. Circle it. Point and lengthen that leg so you're lengthening as well as lifting. Trying to keep the tension on that band. Don't let it flop down. Squeezing those glutes. Tiny controlled circles. Keep going. You can do this. Think about the results you want. Five, four, three, two, one. Now it's a bend press with your toe pointed. Straightening out from the knee all the way down to your toe. Keeping that leg up. Press, really locking out behind your knee and sweeping your quad and your glutes as you extend. Oh, really, really burning. Keep going. Keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One and last thing, you're flexing, you're bringing your toe down, up and heel. I know it feels a bit tight and awkward, but just do your best to keep your legs straight and down and toe, down and heel, down and toe, down and heel. Oh, really feeling the twisting action there in the glutes. Down. You can do it, keep going. Five, four, three, two, oh the pain. Last one. Oh, really felt that. Now just straighten your shins so they're in line with the mat and we're gonna pick up those shins from the bottom there. Pivot from the toe and do those diamonds up. Up. So what you're trying to do is get that top knee to face the ceiling at the top of that movement. You might not be able to get all the way up there. That's okay. Just try your best. You're resisting against that band and you're thinking about squeezing that outer glute again. Up. Your leg should be shaking at the top there. Hold it for a second on the up. Hold. Hold and shake. All the way up. You need to really create your own resistance here by squeezing that glute. Up. Up. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, then just hold it for a bit. Just hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, bash that out for a second. We're gonna sit up and do that figure four stretch. Just bring your chest towards the shin. Oh, feels great. Unfortunately, we're not done yet with those glutes, but we'll take a second to stretch it out. Oh. Good. Okay, so now we're going to come back down and I want you to lie down all the way. Make sure that's nice and flat in the same position, just halfway up your thighs. Come down flat, hold your tummies in. Your heels are approximately hip width apart and they're not too close but just about 
a foot away from your butt. Your hands, you can either make fists and really drive your elbows into the mat to help you keep alignment, or you can come down flat with your hands into the mat. Now I want you to imagine that all of your body up until your waist is going to stay on the mat and you're just peeling off from your belly button the, uh, downwards, so your hips are coming up and what I want you to imagine is an action where you're bringing your hips to your ribs, okay? So it's a in, you're really trying to press down your rib cage. So you're not going to come really far off the mat, but as you do this, you're going to feel the lengthening in the front of your thighs. That's what we're trying to achieve here. You're using your glutes, squeezing your glutes into fists, really tilting up to create that length in your quadriceps, okay? So this is our starting position. And the band is really just for alignment, so you know that your legs are far enough apart to feel that tension on there. So now I just want you to slowly release a little bit and then tilt in. You're releasing and tilting. Imagine that you're pushing your hip bones and your ribs together. It's a tilt, it's not so much a raise like we do with the regular glute raises, but you're really concentrating on tucking, tucking really hard and squeezing those glutes and at the same time stretching the front of your thighs. So it's a tuck, it's a tilt and you're still focusing on keeping that upper body still and press into the mat. And if you want more help, you can push your hands into that mat every time that you tuck. This should be a really intense burn in those glutes already. You're not really high and you're just releasing just that little bit. You're not actually releasing all the way. You're never touching the mat. You're staying up and then you're just tilting in that position. Tilt, okay? So imagine you're stretching and lengthening your quads, making them longer and leaner. Keep going for a few more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, now stay tucked and we're going to do mini ones faster. Okay, mini, mini, mini tucks, fast. Tuck, 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 squeeze, 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 squeeze. Just little ones should really be burning. Keep going, keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job, now come down and I want you to come up on your tippy toes. So you might want to bring your feet slightly closer to your butt. Then we're coming back up into that tuck position. So again, tuck so that your belly button is really pushing down and you're only lifting from that belly button downwards. You're tucked, bringing those hip bones and ribs together. Okay, so you're up there now and make sure your feet are in the right position so that you can really start to tuck hard by lengthening out through the front and squeezing your glutes. If you need to walk your feet closer in, you can. So tilting, tilting, tilting. Make sure that your hips are aligned. Don't let one drop lower than the other. Squeeze, squeeze. There's still tension on that band, so your legs are even slightly wider than hip width apart, depending on how tight your band is. Up and up. You're staying up. You're not dropping your butt down. You should be able to put your fist underneath your butt and you're just lightly tapping that fist every time and then squeezing back up. And squeeze, and squeeze. Getting a little bit of calf in there as well. Keep going, really burning it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now stay up there, keep the tuck, and we're gonna do those fast ones, little ones, in, in, and in. 
in and in and in. Squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Tiny ones staying high. Really burning it out. Keep going. Squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. You're hardly letting up on that squeeze at all. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Coming down. Now I want you to bring your legs wider. A bit further away and a bit wider so your heels are on the mat but your toes are coming off the mat. Okay, so it's almost like a V position. Then I want you to come up on your heels and I want you to once again reset by tucking, coming up, pressing your upper body into the mat, press your hands into the mat, then tuck from there. So this time the tension is in your heels. You're walked a bit further away from your butt, which means you're engaging more of the hamstring muscle. But still remember to lengthen through the front of the thigh and hips to ribs. You're tilting, tilting, shortening that area each time. Really squeezing, keeping your hips level at all times. Don't let one drop. The weaker one will always want to drop, but you need to fight for balance. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze. You should be feeling those glutes like rocks right now. Constant contraction. This is what's lengthening that muscle. It's the constant contraction. You're reshaping, lifting that butt. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up, and we're just going to do a few of those fast ones. Go, tilt, 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 squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Just a few tiny little movements. I know it burns. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let it down. We're just going to bring those. Knees in for a second to release a little bit. Now I want you to come back to that initial starting position where you're about hip width apart, about a foot away from your butt. Then I want you to do that tuck. Realign everything, hands into the ground and we're just going to raise that one leg, tuck. Then down, raise the other leg, tuck, then down, raise it, tuck, then down. You're staying up the whole time. Down, raise the leg, tuck. As you tuck, your leg should be getting slightly higher. Really squeeze those glutes on the tuck. Squeeze and down, extend and squeeze it in. And down, extend, squeeze. And down, squeeze. You're staying up the entire time. You're never dropping your glutes to the mat. Down and squeeze. Remember hips to ribs, squeeze. Squeeze and tuck. Four, and down. Three, two, one. Now I want you to just raise that one leg in line, knees in line, and tuck and release. Keeping that leg up, squeezing your inner thighs together. It's a tiny release. You should hardly see that release. It's more of a tuck and tuck. Keep it up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Reset, so remember, press your upper body into the mat, tucking it, extend the other leg, and in, in. Squeeze, squeeze, keeping your glutes up. Squeeze, squeeze. Keep your upper thighs together. Squeeze, knock your knees together. Squeeze. Keep going. Really burning out that glute and that hamstring. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ouch, awesome job. We're just going to extend those legs a bit to loosen out through the hamstrings. You can bring them in towards your head a bit. Ah, oh, that feels great. Okay, we're coming back in. This time your knees are together, your toes are apart and parallel to the edge of the mat. Bring them in slightly and we're going to come up and do that tuck again. And you, this time you're going to keep your knees together. So really squeeze in on your knees, in on your inner thighs, but keep that tuck. And we're going to start from there. Tuck it, tuck it. Tuck it. Really focusing on the inner thighs now. Tuck, tuck release, tuck release, tuck release. Really think about that tilt. Exaggerate it as much as you can. I know that it's hard. I know it might not look like we're even moving that much, but it's doing something inside. So just have faith that it's actually working. Keep going. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Keep going. Ah, oh, really feeling that. Loosen inner thighs. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hold it up, retuck, and just those tiny ones. This is the last one like this. Tuck and tuck, tuck and tuck, tiny ones. Tuck and tuck, tuck and tuck. Tiny tuck. Keep going, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, that burned bad. Okay, not over, but that section's over. So, legs up in the air, soles of the feet together, and come down like a diamond, and we're just gonna press our knees back, 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 back. So you're just pressing out with the knees. Extending, using that tension from the band, using your soles of your feet as a pivoting point. Similar to those diamonds we did are lying on our sides, but this time we're moving both legs at the same time back. Final little burnout for those outer glutes. Back and back, back and back. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straight legs, toes pointed, heels together, and out, out. Last thing, this is not as hard, just trying to lengthen out those levers again. You're staying out, you're not coming all the way in. Out and out. Lengthening out from the tips of your toes and just using that resistance from the band for a final little burnout. But it's also like a stretch, so it's nowhere near as tough as what we have been doing. But you'll notice a bit of a stretch in the inner thighs, even the back of your legs, your hamstrings. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, great job. So we're just going to remove that band and I want you to bring one leg in and we're just gonna stretch out that hamstring properly. So just bring it into your chest. Flex and point a bit here. Really feeling it through the back of your leg. And then just switch it up. Ah, oh, that feels great. Stretching that out, flex and point, and then just cross it over and just do a laying figure four stretch. Push away if you like, push away on that knee to open it up even more, you should really feel it at the bottom there. And then just change sides, bring that in. It can take a lot longer doing all of these stretches if you're feeling a bit tight. That feels 
gray. And then we're just gonna rock ourselves up and we're going to stretch out the front of our thighs. So I just want you to come into a kneeling position and just push up with both thighs. So you're really stretching the front there. And then just come down on your tummy and we're gonna do an even deeper stretch. So I want you to just push your foot into your hand and lift that leg up so you're lengthening out through the front of your thigh. And then just do that on the other side, raising it up. And last thing, just sitting up, crossing your leg over, hugging it in, nice and tall. And other side. And that's it, thanks for joining me for my resistance band butt workout.